हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस ट्रांसमिशन ऑफ नर्व इम्पल्स थ्रू साइनैप्स दैट इज हाउ अ नर्व इम्पल्स ट्रेवल फ्रॉम वन न्यूरोन टू अनदर फर्स्टली वट इज साइनैप्स साइनैप्स इज अ गैप बिटवीन द टू न्यूरोन्स इट इज अ गैप बिटवीन द टू न्यूरोन्स एज दिस इज वन न्यूरोन this is the axon of first neuron this one is the end node this is the membrane of second neuron which is known as the post synaptic membrane there is a gap between these two neuron and this gap is known as the synaptic cleft this one membrane is known as the presynaptic membrane okay and this synapse that may be of two types that may be between axon of one neuron and dendrite of the another neuron that are known as the axodendritic synapse okay or it may be between the axon of one neuron and cell body of the another neuron that type of synapse is known as the axosomatic synapse okay then what about the transmission of nerve impulse through this synapse it occurs in two ways by two ways it may be either electrical transmission or chemical transmission first is the electrical transmission as in this case as the nerve impulse travels down the axon it reaches this end knob and it depolarizes the presynaptic membrane and from the presynaptic membrane the nerve impulse travels in the form of electric current or wave through this gap to the post synaptic membrane in case of electrical transmission the gap is very less gap is very less that is less than the 20 angstrom therefore the nerve impulse travel in the form of electric current from one neuron to the another neuron and this type of transmission is known as the electrical transmission it is mostly found in cylindrates annelids arthropods and mollusk second type of transmission is chemical transmission which mostly found in the vertebrates in this transmission as the nerve impulse travels down one neuron this is again that axon of neuron this one is the end knob of one neuron this is the presynaptic membrane this is the post synaptic membrane and this one is the synaptic cleft okay and this end knob comprises of large number of mitochondria and the secretory vesicles that vesicles contain some chemical signal chemical secretions contain kar diya these are the secretory vesicles these are the mitochondria present in the and neuro and knob of a neuron as the nerve impulse reaches downward it depolarizes the presynaptic membrane and due to depolarization of presynaptic membrane calcium ion channels open that leads to the movement of calcium ion from outside to the end knob due to movement of calcium ion inside this knob 
these secretory vesicles they fuse with the presynaptic membrane and releases the chemicals into the synaptic cleft okay then they are present certain receptors they are present receptors on post synaptic membrane these chemicals they bind to the post synaptic the receptors present on the post synaptic membrane leading to the depolarization of this membrane leading to the depolarization of post synaptic membrane that further leads to the depolarization of the second neuron like this way the nerve impulse travels from one neuron to another neuron now what are these chemicals which are stored in these vesicles and they transmit the nerve impulse from one neuron to another neuron these chemicals they are known as the neurotransmitters and most commonly two type of neurotransmitters that is the acetylcholine and noradrenaline they majorly occur in the vertebrates and as these chemicals they are received by these receptors and after the depolarization of the second neuron these chemicals they are again detached from the receptors and they are again absorbed by the end knob for the next action okay and they may be absorbed either as such or in a degraded form acetylcholine that is degraded with the help of enzyme acetylcholine esterase and noradrenaline that is degraded with the help of enzyme monoamine oxidase okay and they may be absorbed as such or in the form of degraded uh, forms and they are again uh, inside the this knob they are again uh, they are again packed inside the secretory vesicle for the further action this was all about the transmission of nerve impulse through the synapse thank you have a nice day